Kia ora, I'm the Kiwi Coder, and today I'd like to announce a free giveaway I'm running at the moment. I am giving away this behavior tree editor completely for free, and you can grab it by following the link in the description or just head over to my website at thekiwicoder.com. Before I get into what's actually contained in this, uh, this asset, I just wanted to outline why I'm giving this away for free, and there's basically two main reasons. Uh, the first reason is in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to use the behavior tree to create some basic bot AI. And I didn't wanna get bogged down like in all of the details of creating all the different node types that are gonna be required. Uh, instead, I just wanna focus on how to use the various node types to create some basic AI using a behavior tree. Uh, so it's all separated completely from my Patreon stuff, so you can import it directly into your own projects and follow along. The second reason is I really just wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon supporters who are donating monthly to this channel, and I wanted to give something back to the community in return for this. Uh, this channel definitely wouldn't be where it is today without them, so effectively this asset and video is sponsored by them. So let's quickly dive into what's in the package. After following the link, you'll be emailed a zip file which contains a Unity package and also a detailed PDF guide. So you can import that Unity package into Unity, uh, just using import package, custom package, and just selecting the behavior tree editor.unity package file here. And just import everything, boom. Now, once Unity is finished compiling everything, uh, there'll be a new menu option up here, uh, the Kiwi Coder Behavior Tree Editor. And the first time you open it, uh, you'll see this pop up here just asking you to create a new tree, um, which you could do. Um, you can just put a name and a location in here, but uh, the package also comes with an example scene, uh, which does have an example behavior tree. So I'm just gonna select this one here. It's called Basic Roaming. And that will just open up in the editor. Cool, um, so yeah, I will also open up the example scene and just kind of show you what's in it. It's uh, it's very basic. It just has like a capsule that basically, um, let me just hit play and actually show you what it does. The, the capsule basically just um, moves around the world to like a random location and I can select the agent and actually uh, view what it's doing. So you can actually see these nodes uh, are changing. Cool, um, so yeah, back to the behavior tree editor. Um, so this package does actually come with a bunch of built-in uh, node types. So under action, we've got like a breakpoint node, um, move to position, random position, log, random failure, wait. Uh, for the composite node types, I've included like an interrupt selector, parallel node, random selector, selector, and sequencer. And then for the decorator, just got a few different uh, sort of standard decorator types like the failure, succeed, repeat, inverter, timeout, etc. Cool, um, but the real power actually comes in when you create your own node types. So uh, I've made this extremely easy by uh, the shortcut menu. You just go create script and then go new action node. And what this does is creates a new C sharp script. So I'm gonna give it the name like my action node. Oops, if I can spell it. Cool, so once Unity finishes compiling this, um, this will automatically be picked up by the editor. So now it will just appear directly uh, under the action node. And you have the other options of like composite node and decorator node. So if I just open up this script for a minute and show you what it's created, it basically just um, fills out <clears throat> all the sort of boilerplate, uh, just creates a new class with the name that you gave it, and yeah, inherits from action node. And this is basically where you would implement your action inside the update or possibly inside the start. Cool, um, so all of this boilerplate code is actually created from a script template. So the script templates are here and you can open them up and modify them. Um, so for example, you might have like a namespace or something that you need in here or, you know, like just, just whatever you need to do to modify it uh, for your project to make it work. Um, so you can modify the script templates directly there. Cool, and um, one other thing I've added, which I didn't cover in the previous videos, uh, is a double click handler. So I can double click a node and then it will select all of the uh, nodes under underneath it. <clears throat> so it'll select like the entire subtree. And this is really useful if you have uh, large behavior trees and you want to rearrange and kind of refactor the layout, um, then you can just double click a node, select that entire subtree and then just drag it around, uh, which is uh, really, really sort of convenient. Cool. Um, so I've covered the inspector and blackboard views like in my previous videos, so I won't go into that, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then uh, definitely go and check out those videos because yeah, that just sort of goes into a bit more detail about these two options here. And the last thing, or second last thing, is the assets menu. So this is actually populated from all of the 
behavior trees that are in your project. At the moment, there's only one, uh, the basic roaming, but they will all appear here and you can select, uh, switch between them basically. And you can also create a new tree from this menu as well. Cool. And the very last thing is <clears throat> in, under edit, project settings, uh, behavior tree. So we actually have settings for the behavior tree for your project. Um, so we've got all the script template references and uh, just a bunch of sort of UI files and stuff like that um, that you can kind of configure here. Cool. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So guys, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with more free assets like this in future. And we'll see you in the next video. Ta kite.